technological innovation is happening in weapon systems just as much as anything else. And so the miniaturization of weapons and uh, their, their cost is coming down. And so, you know, stuff like those drones that have, they made a material difference in that case, like uh, uh, the kind of drones that normally a nation or non-state actors could never have afforded. And now they're reasonably within reach. You can afford them and you can use them and they're accurate and, and they work. So uh, that's a permanent trend in the world economy. Weapon systems are always becoming smaller and more capable and less expensive. So it's very hard to, that, that never reverses. And um, so we'll just see more and more of that. Um, and, but you're right. It means you can never afford to just get lazy on that front, right? Otherwise you end up like the, the Polish, um, you know, cavalry in World War I, you know, on horseback. And they- Against they're machine really, guns. And against machine guns, yeah. This is a permanent, state of affairs that you have to keep innovating in order to maintain balance of power and heaven forbid that anybody actually has to use these sorts of weapons. And that's a really one really super interesting question, especially for this audience on the podcast is, you know, how we all feel about um, robots in warfare. And is it a good thing if you have robots fighting robots and you get the humans out of the way? Or is it a bad thing if you start deferring to robotics to make autonomous weapons, autonomous weapons? Yeah, this is a really deep philosophical question that every one of us faces now. And most people have no idea how to answer it, but it's a it's coming at us quickly. Yeah, and you're, you're doing quite a bit of, you know, venture investing and, and research in the robotic space. Do you have any opinions on that, that that might help to help you know help people who, who haven't given it a lot of thought or don't have a lot of knowledge in the space to come to their own conclusions on that yeah um so i would say we are gonna see the uh robots being used much more in the conduct of warfare and you know as you say hot proxy conflicts the question is, do you empower an autonomous system to have a go at a human? Or do you empower an autonomous system to have a go at another autonomous system? And uh, they're two very different things. Uh, I don't know. How do you I differentiate between the humans on your side and the humans on their side? Yeah, also. well, Or civilians been- versus, you know, military. Yeah. And that's already been a problem, right? The, the friendly fire has been an issue in every single war. In fact, you might get less friendly fire if it's more robotics and autonomy. Uh, so this is why some people are actually leaning in this direction. But it's, it's, a, it's literally a, a historic moment because also the, the capacity of robotics to engage in autonomous decision making is increasing exponentially every day. Uh, so anyway, I, I personally think we should try and avoid having to have the conflict to begin with. Uh, and that requires human now, human diplomacy. Uh, that's not a numbers game that can be done by an algorithm. I think that has to be done by, by humans. Uh, we're back to, you know, forgiveness and engagement and those things again.